Hello, Marcel. We have a very nice and very big box here on our table today. So the AlphaCool ES Orbiter. And let's get ready and show us what's inside. Of course. Well, it is opened here. Tick, tick. On the top, we already got the, the manual and the accessories. Yeah. Looks good. And yeah. very good packed. Uh, you need a sec the third hand minimum <laughs> to get it out. And there we got it. Just the front. Ah, it's so good. You can uh, really use your hand and grab it. It's yeah. You got you got the handles here on the yeah, sides. Yes, that's already so a you good can, thing. Yeah, so you can you can uh, transport it or yeah. Yeah, because I think it could have some weight when you need to carry it, so you can use it. Yeah, I, I don't know the exact weight, but I would say it's about yeah two kilo minimum, yeah. or maybe three already. And this looks really massive industry style, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. It is um, kind of an um, external all-in-one solution um, for for yeah for uh, very very high uh, usage because it can uh, take to up to fifteen hundred watts DDP. That's really a big amount. Yeah, that is that is a big amount for... How many radiators are on the inside? There are two radiators inside, uh, two, uh, one, uh, 280 millimeter and um, on the other yeah, side... Show me the other one. Then the other side it's we got... It's on the bottom. Yeah, we yeah. got one more. And so it, it sucks the air, goes in here, mm -hmm. goes out at the top? Yes, that is that is the way the, the air uh, yeah, goes. Okay, and from the back? And from the back we got the, ah, the lines. Inlet, outlet, yes. power. And you can see in the inside what we're going to take a closer look right now. Yes. Marcel, here's a nice piece, so let's get a look in the inside. All right. So <laughs> since we have a radiator directly mounted um, on the top, you have to check it if you want to open it. So you have to, to yeah. pull it up until you can get the radiator out yeah. and you pull it back in that. We don't have much, um, much um, tubing in there, so they are pretty short yeah. for short way. So I have to, have to hold it like this. Yeah, but it looks bit. so good. This is the massive, really good tubing. Yeah, that is our TPV uh, uh, fit, uh, tubing. Um, it's very very cool um, because it is it is um, yeah for for higher, higher temperatures. Yeah, it's not anti kinking. Yeah. long uh, resistance. It, it's like uh, really really good quality. Definitely, definitely. And here you have the HPE series, one at the bottom, the other one at the top, mm -hmm. and they are connected with each other. Yeah, here and then it goes to the pump. Yeah, the reservoir combination, which is massive. It really it's like. Industry style. Yeah. It is made for industry, so yeah, yeah, this is definitely industry style. We got the uh, VPP uh, 755 D5 pump here, yeah. which can can turn up to uh, 4,800 um, RPM. Pretty strong one, this which is, is strong, needed. Definitely. Yeah, it is needed for an external uh, uh, solution. And then you have here something like for the air and for fill. So to release the air, yes. when you're filling, you fill inside, and the air can go out here. That, yeah. And in the back, you have the in and outlet that goes to your system that you need to cool. Mm -hmm. That is right. We got, uh, we got a temperature sensor uh, in here as yeah, well. So, let's so, show you, the so front. you have a display uh, in the front. You can just give me a second. Tuck. So you can, you can see uh, the temperature should be right yeah. here. And we have the, 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 the fill filling. level. Yeah, the filling also, level so is it. Um, so you can, you can ch always check uh, if there is any, uh, if there is enough uh, liquid. Yeah, in your and system. this is really, oh, it feels very good. Of course, there's like a f uh, foil on it you need to remove it yeah of course but <laughs> you see this is amazing it is so satisfying quality satisfying <laughs> it looks so good and when you have this in your lab or even i don't know do people use this for 
home computers? What do you think? It is not not so uh, common because um, yeah, it can it can, it can cool up to uh, 1500 uh, TDP. Yeah, if you have two GPUs. Um, in that case, you could consider to to use one. Um, or many many people uh, who are have uh, yeah like like uh, server racks at home or, yes. or uh, uh, are mining or something like that. But they use uh, this this. Uh, Originally, the, the purpose is for industry. So if you have a machine yeah. or a big thing running in your industry yeah. sector, and you need something that is really like, yeah, it fits to this surrounding, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So that was the orbiter, and we're proud of having this article product now, our product range. This was quite an intense view in the inside of this orbiter. Now let's take a look at the accessory box. Yeah. So we got. So what uh, do we have here? We got the power supply here, yeah. which is two-parted. Um, this is wait. This is the end which comes in the orbiter. And there's a transformation, trafo, and yeah, standard the power uh, supply. Is power good. supply. And this is. Yeah, we got a, a, um, a filling uh, funnel uh, with one quarter inch uh, standard. Um, yeah, you can remove thread. this plug. Yeah. And then put the funnel in. Yeah, and then you can fill it, or you fill it with the with the orbiter filling station. Yes, for that we'll make a separate video. Okay, enjoy this Alpha Cool Orbiter. <laughs>